heard somebody say it's all a fix she's already chosen them I've chosen two out of the 50. Yeah, I've chosen two out of the 50 so far. That's it. Because I've been telling people for the last few weeks that I'm doing this. So yeah, of course I've started choosing people. They don't know who they are yet, but I've started choosing people. So you know what? Those 50 people are chosen out of the, the subscribers. So yeah. Talia G, surely it should be random. You know what, Talia? I've made it clear how I'm doing it since the beginning. If you don't like it, Talia, you're not even a subscriber. So you know what, Talia? I don't know why you're worrying about it. I'm going to get other people to choose some of them. All right? So some people will be randomly chosen. Some people, I'll say to Pitta, choose a few people. I'll just say to another of my mods, choose a few people. So you know what, guys? It's up to me how I run my channel. If you don't like it, you know where the door is. Okay, Talia, let you off. I just get a lot of hate, Talia. That's why I'm saying things like that, because you know what? People just like to try and wind me up. Luna. Like, Luna's trying to wind me up, constantly climbing up my hair. Look, people want to say hello to you, so be nice and say hello. <clears throat> um, hold on. Staffs of Midwest, you're already a subscriber, so you're already in with a chance of getting one of them. So, the subscribers, all of my subscribers who are b subscribed between now and December... As long as you stay subscribed till December, so October, November and December, as long as you stay subscribed, you'll be within, in with the chance of getting one of the goodie bags and there's going to be 50 of them. The giveaway is for subscribers only. It's my way of saying thank you to my subscribers and giving 50 of them a goodie bag. No, it's a watered-down fruit juice. Do, do, do. Uh, sugar plum, it's a surprise. But they're not a couple of quid. I'm spending £500 on them. Sorry, I've already spent... Get it right. I've already spent £500. Basically, whatever money I get in the next couple of months is being spent on the goodie bags. So the rest of the money that I get for October, November um, and into the middle of December, that money will go on the goodie bags. The money I get in January will pay for the postage of the goodie bags. So there's more likely to be 20 to 30 pounds worth in each goodie bag, depending on how many subscribers I get. Thank you for shouting in my ear. Depending on how many subscribers I get. So, yeah. Hi, Chloe. Welcome to the Madhouse. <clears throat> Hi, Dan. Good evening. Hi, Pan Dragon. Luna is in a cheeky mood this evening. She is indeed. So, we're going to turn this live into a subathon. How do I turn on a subathon? Let's have a look. Let's see how I turn this on to a subathon. Do, do, do. Um, and I will chat a little bit about the chat we had this morning. Um, da, 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 da. <clears throat> um. 
Dee -dee -dee. Right, bear with me a second. Um, there we go. <coughs> there we go. So we now have a subathon live. Don't forget, if you want to, you can buy subs to gift them to other people. Um, if those people then want to stay subbed, it's up to them to stay subbed for the rest of the giveaway. But yes, Emma, you've just subscribed. Thank you, Emma. You're now in with the chance of winning a goodie bag, but you must stay subscribed all the way to December, okay? Just so that people know. And just to remind people, this is an over 18 thing. Stop shouting in my ear. This is for adults, this is not for kids. So yeah, just to make that clear, this is not a kids giveaway. Um, this is more of a adults giveaway. I haven't yet decided everything that goes in the box. There may be some fun stuff. So, right, let me tell you what else. Um, for any of you who weren't here earlier today, um, I did a sub-only live this morning. I did a sub-only live this morning. Wow, people are subbing. Thank you, everybody. I've missed Thank you, everybody. I've missed them. Uh, right, okay, I've missed two. It's just sub sub subscribed. I do apologise. Um... <laughs> oh that is hilarious i don't think i dare pin that comment but it has made me laugh all right why is my ipad doing this at the moment i'm struggling i keep getting a focusing button appearing when i'm trying to scroll the chat <laughs> somebody just said are you partnering with love honey to do the bags Honey Luna, that is a hilarious comment. I know, that absolutely cracked me up. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that absolutely cracked me up. Thank you for that giggle. I needed that this evening, Hannah, honey, honey Luna. Whew. <laughs> Right, so, oh, Luna, thank you. Are you laughing as well at the joke? Are you? <laughs> That's hilarious. Kerry Smith, thank you for subscribing. Yes, Luna. Basically, um, t tomorrow or later in the week, when I know how much I'm getting from the september subscriptions when i know how much i get for the september subscriptions i will tell you i will tell you what i get for the october subscriptions when i get them in november so let me explain how it works so at the end of september i get the money on the 15th of october so the october subscriptions i will get the money on the 15th of november the november subscriptions i will get that money on the 15th of december so I will know roughly by then how much money will be coming in. So I'll spend it in advance like I've already started doing. I'm hoping to be able to spend somewhere between a thousand to fifteen hundred pound. I'm hoping. But it depends how much TikTok pay me. I've already spent five hundred pounds. Yes, Kalyan, I've already spent five hundred. But you know what? This is my chance to give you all, my subscribers, a chance of getting something back. Now, one of those goodie bags, and it's going to be completely random because I'm going to box all the goodie bags up in advance. So I'm not going to know which goodie bag has got which in it. But one of those goodie bags is going to have a ticket in that goodie bag. And that is going to be for a handmade bear. So when I start making bears in the new year, the person who gets that ticket will win a handmade bear. Yes. Okay. It's only going to be one of those. And I'm going to 
like I said, before I label all the bags, before I label any of them, they're all going to be packed. So I will show you all the golden ticket. I will put it in an envelope in one of the packets. And when that teddy bear, when the person who wins that ticket comes forward, that ticket will be the winning ticket for the bear. Now, let me again remind people, these are not teddy bears for children. These are collector's bears. Um, so these are collector's teddy bears. These are with glass size, mohair material, felt material. Um, they are very, very definitely not toy bears. They're not for toys. They're not for giving to children. So you wouldn't give these to children. These are for over 14s, okay? Okay. Well, Miss Mouse, surprising you say that because Luna's now got 3D printed parrots. You can now buy from Dan and Sam at Cutting Edge Creations. You can get a 3D printed Luna. No, I get no commission. I don't get any money or anything for those. <laughs> you want to see the bears let me see if i can grab a couple hold on one second that's not one of my ones behind me that's a charlie bear behind me let me see if i can reach them because although i showed them the other day i do still have the box ah! so i'd knock the ipad over them i knocked something else over but not the ipad luckily Right, let me try and reach this box. Hold on a minute, guys. <sighs> ah. Now, I just want to make it clear that these bears, <clears throat> these bears are not currently for sale, okay? So the bears I'm about to show you are not currently for sale. But these are some of the bears that I've already made. This is one of my favourites, this little pink guy. With a Christmassy bell, jingle jangles. Look at the eyes. Now, they are glass eyes. You would not give a bear like this to a child. <clears throat> okay. This is one of my favourite patterns. And that's all hand sewn by myself. That's completely handmade. Now, how long does, do people think it takes to make a bear like this? When I made bears like this before, how long do you think this bear made me in hours? How many hours do you think this took me? <clears throat> do it in hours there's <clears throat> about 10 to 12 hours work in this bear it's about 10 to 12 hours work in each bear for me now because I haven't made any in the last I haven't seriously made any in the last 18 months. My dexterity is not as good as it used to be. So I know when um, I start making them again, I'm not going to be able to make them as quickly. It's going to take me longer. It's going to take me on average two weeks to make each bear. Because when you hand sew them, with the dexterity problems I've got at the moment, um, my fingers get pins and needles in them a lot quicker when I'm using things like sewing needles. So it is going to take me longer to make the bears. I can do some of it with a machine, sewing machine. 
um but it also does give me pins and needles and stuff in my fingers now again this is not for sale at this time okay just want to make that clear this is not for sale um but somebody in their giveaway packet in the giveaway will receive a voucher to have a handmade bear made by me and I will be able to give them a selection to choose from of patterns and they'll then be able to kind of choose which pattern they want so yes I will be able to do that um so yeah so that's a subscript subscribers only giveaway okay um so yep yeah. The felt one, you want to see the felt one? Hold on. So this is the only one I've ever made in felt. The Harlequin bear that I made. Now because he's a felt bear, you can actually see his seams in some of them. You can see where I've sewn up the back. Because it's very difficult to hide closing seams on something like felt. And I know I'm not the neatest of sewers. But for me, that was quite an effort, sewing that bear up when I did this one. If you want to subscribe, guys, you need to go up here, click where it says my name, and click the subscriber button. Well, at the moment, there is a subscriber, subscriber festival or something, I don't know. But it, there's a subscriber discount at the moment on from TikTok. So, there we go. Thank you for the heart means, everybody. And if you want to join the giveaway, you need to be a subscriber from now all the way through to December. So you need to subscribe, stay subscribed for October, November and December. Um, and then you'll be entered into the, then you'll be entered into the giveaway. But I'll be choosing people throughout the next three months for the giveaway. It's not all going to be done in December. Are there any bears you regret not buying? Very definitely. Thank you for that, Craig. There's also a subscriber button down the bottom on the left, down here somewhere. Uh, Harlequin, um, Kalyan. Yeah, I call that one Harlequin. <coughs> so, um, if there are any questions about the giveaway, you are welcome to ask. Lynn, if you were a subscriber, it would have your name in yellow next to it saying Luna. Somebody just subscribed. Time was added to the timer. Where is it? Who subscribed? Who subscribed? Lottie, thank you. The subscribers are called the feathers. Yes, my subscribers are called the feathers. So yeah, anybody who subscribe. Thank you. Are you trying to make me go deaf in this ear? This ear is my bad ear, but she's now trying to make this one just as bad. <sighs> Luna here. This is Luna. Karen, yes, you're subscribed. Thank you, Karen. So this is Luna. She is a pineapple green cheek Konya. And she's six years old. <laughs> she is my little love bug. She's like snuggling in under my ear, around my neck. Uh, so Mrs Mouse, I do do other craft. I do paper craft. I like scrapbooking. Uh, I used to make a lot of cards, but I haven't made very many in quite a while. Um, so, yeah, I still make some, but I haven't made very many in quite a while. I'm hoping to hand make some cards to go into the giveaway as well. Um, it depends how... Um, it depends how quickly I get settled after the move as to whether I can make some stuff to go in the goodie bags or not. <clears throat> I haven't moved, no. So... If you could see the other side of the camera, which I know you can't, you would see the mountain of boxes I've got piled up. I have an absolute mountain in front of me of boxes. I have a mountain of boxes over there and I've got a lot more 
um boxes as well uh who asked that how much will subs be in november and december Anne marie it's not going to change so the standard price for my subscription is four pound a month i'm not changing the subscription cost it is not changing so if you um subscribe today on the tiktok discount you won't get the discount again it'll go to the standard price for october november and december which is four pound a month sandra not yet i'm really really frustrated um we've not exchanged contracts um i just want to get on and move yes so I have to admit I am a bit frustrated, yes. What age do Conyers go up to? Uh, well, Luna is already six and they can live to be 25 to 30 years old, if not a bit older. So the average lifespan is 25 to 30. So yeah, a lot. They're not a short-term pet, they're a long-term commitment. Can I answer your question? Yes, I can, Lulu, if I see it. I'm sure you can see how quickly the comments are going. So I apologise that I can't um, see everything. So I'm just pouring my, myself out a drink. Uh, how did you learn to make bears? Lulu, a friend of mine taught me. Um, a friend of mine who works in the teddy bear industry, um, who runs a teddy bear, um, she runs a teddy bear, uh, what's the word you'd use? Supp a teddy bear material supplier. So she runs a company where she sells anything you need to make teddy bears so she'll sell the mohair the stuffing the cotton the threads the eyes the joints the growlers um the different mohairs and there's a lot of different types of colors of mohair she'll sell the um the alpaca material as well um she'll sell um the cottons the um felts the suede the leathers all sorts of things you have to make bears <laughs> how much does it cost to make one bear ryan that's a good question it completely depends on the material mohair is not a cheap material um the mohair that i've got is mohair that i brought a few years ago so the mohair i've got at the moment still um, is cheaper, was cheaper when I brought it than the cost of mohair now. Um, so I actually can't tell you what the current cost of mohair is. Have I ever sold bears at an event? Yes, I have, Kalyan. Um, I'm not a professional bear maker and I don't claim to be a professional bear maker. I want to make that 100% clear. I am not a professional, okay? A uh, viral video, as far as I know, it's every month. So if you subscribe now, I don't think you have to subscribe till the end of October. Okay, as far as I know, it's a rolling month. <laughs> I have seen Tangle with Maxine. I'm trying to decide if I can justify it because he's gorgeous thank you craig oh wow what's that thank you night owl oh <laughs> i haven't seen that one before that caught me out by surprise thank you night owl um yeah craig's just said he's just subscribed and it said 30 of october so there you go guys <laughs> thank you sky for the goose i quack for the goose as well as the duck Please don't turn this into a Quackers Live. <laughs> no, um, Big Bald Beard. I'm not reading your full name. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not reading your full name out. Uh, Luna is my first parrot, but I used to have a budgie who lived for 13 years. 
ears. And this is my little love bug. Who's trying to make me deaf in my left ear tonight? A subathon, Shamilk, adds uh, five minutes every time somebody subscribes. Luna is a parrot. Yes, there you go. She is a parrot. A quackathon. Thank you, Jessie. If you guys want to turn it into a quackathon, go ahead. Oh, I like that big bald beard. I like that. Your wife's idea. <laughs> Luna can talk. Yes, she can. She doesn't talk on command, but she can say hello, give us a kiss, 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 yes, and stop it. And she's just pooed down my back again. Oh, aren't you charming, my darling? Come on, other side. Yes, there you go. This jumper needs a wash anyway. I managed to get some ice cream on it when over the week when I was had it on yesterday. I was about to say over the weekend, but that was yesterday. So I had an ice cream yesterday. I managed to get some I some spill some on it. So these are antiseptic wipes that I use to clean her poop up. Good old antiseptic wipes. Uh, medical medical grade antiseptic wipes because you can't use things like Dettol around a bird because it's not safe. So I use um, antiseptic wipes like these that are individually sealed and I use one every time um, she does. If I changed my top every time Luna pooed on me, I'd change my top every five to ten minutes. Okay, so no, I don't change my top every time she poos on me. So they're great, aren't they? I buy them in boxes of a hundred from Amazon. That's how I get them like this. And I have them around everywhere because of her. Yes, because of you. It's all about you. <laughs> I do use F10, Becky. Yes, I do use F10 for a cleaner. I just don't use it on my clothes. So when she poos on me, I use these. But on everything else, I use F10, don't worry. Yeah, F10 is the bird keeper's best friend. So you'll notice that I tend to wear the same cardigans and jumpers all the time. Basically, they're lunars as far as I'm concerned. So I will rarely go out in this jumper. And there's a couple of other jumpers and tops that I will rarely go out on with on because I wear them around the house. And then I wash them and use them again for Luna. I don't currently have a website, no. Do, do, do. Uh, this I actually got it from Vinted but actually it's from Simply B uh, so yeah I did get it from Vinted but it's from Simply B originally can parrots be potty trained if you have the patience to try and do it some people succeed I've tried I haven't totally succeeded So this is Luna. Filigree. No, I haven't seen filigree yet. Okay, Lottie. Um, have you messaged me on TikTok? Because I have turned my messaging off for most people. Uh, Lottie, have you messaged me on TikTok? Okay, check it's come through, Lottie, because it might not come through to me. I can't see it, Lottie, so it might not have come through. Double check it's gone through, okay? Yeah, please double check it's gone through. Do, do, do. That is Festoon. 
the Dragon Festoon uh, was the members there for was it last year? Yes, 23, 24, and we're now in 24, 25. The dragon is water dragon for this year. And no, when it came out last week, I did not get water dragon. Thank you, Lottie. That would be a huge help. Thank you. That really would be a huge help. Okay, I'll have a look, Dan. Hold on. I've got my phone here. I'm looking. Thank you, Dan. Yes, please. Hold on. Where are you? Give me a wave. I've lost you. Give me a wave. Do, do, do. No, I'm Annette. Luna's the parrot. Uh, there you go, Dan. Welcome, Dan, to the Mod Squad. Dan, if you've got any queries or questions, double check with Pitta. Uh, but apart from that, knock yourself out. Well, actually, don't knock yourself out. You know what I mean. <laughs> My messages are off, Nikki. Yes, they are. Um, my messaging is off for anybody who's not a subscriber. Uh, Dolly Parts for sale. Um, you asked a question and you've not had an answer. I apologise. I've literally just seen your comment there. If you want to ask me again, go for it. Uh, Tyler, I don't know you. I only mod people I know and I trust. Emma, try again. If it's not coming through, I will double check. I will double check why sub, sub messages aren't coming through. Bear with me a second. Subscriber messages should get through. Let me double check. Basically, because of everything, I've turned my messaging off. But let me have a look. Bear with me a second. I'll see why sub messaging isn't getting through. Uh, direct messaging. Uh... As far as I know, Subscriber messaging should be working. Subscriber messaging should be working. If it isn't, I don't know how to correct it. But yes, yeah, subscribers should be messaging me no problem. I'm just going to double check one other page to double, triple check. Uh, dee, dee, dee. Subscriber notes, sub chat, no. That's for the sub chat and the lives. Uh, as far as I can tell, sub messages should work. I'm not planning on putting sub chat on at the moment unless I really need to. Yeah, Craig, I've got that one. No problem, Craig. So Craig's just text, te te texted me, no problem. So Craig's just sent me a message and it's come through no problem. So keep trying, guys. It might just be TikTok glitching this evening. I don't know. But yes, the sub, sub te messages should get through. Carol Ann, yeah, if I see your question, I will answer it. What comes with subscribing? Ray, you will enter into the sub only lives. You'll be able to get in the sub chat when I go sub chat only. Um, 
You will also be entered into the goodie bag giveaway, which 50 people of my subscribers will get a goodie bag. All of the money I get from the goodie bag, from, sorry, all of the money I get from the subscribers for September, October, November and December, all of that money is going to pay for the stuff in the goodie bags. If you cannot afford to subscribe, I will still be doing lives. So you don't need to worry. And you just, you won't be able to get the goodie bag giveaway. Please, if you can't afford to subscribe, don't subscribe. It's as simple as that. I will still be here for you. I will still be here to chat with you. Thank you, Odette, for the dancing bear. Thank you so very much. Mwah. What make is the dragon? The dragon is a Charlie bear dragon. It's a Charlie bear dragon. I can't make things like that, Carly Ann. I wish. No, not a chance. I have made one dragon and I can't show it to you because it's packed. But I have made one dragon. It took forever. It really was complicated. Now, I would make one as a commission. I would make one as a commission, but it was complicated to make. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. When am I moving? Amy, I don't know. <laughs> I want to be moving this week, but I'm not. I hope I'm moving next week. Yeah, we'll wait and see. <sighs> so, Cully Ann, I have... I actually have some kits. Um, this is something I was talking about this morning. I have some bear making kits that I am happy to sell. Um, they are fully kitted out. The only thing you extra you need is stuffing and I can supply that as well if people want it. Um, and the bear making kits I have are not ones I've put together. They're ones that I've brought. I thank you, Emma, for the nightshades. I... Um, a couple of years ago, I brought a whole load of stuff from a bear auction. I mean, loads of stuff. Um, I brought somebody's entire bear making stock. And there was a lot. There was, there was more than I realised. When it turned up, I actually couldn't believe how much of a bargain I'd got. And in there were things I wasn't even expecting. Um, so when I set up the new stuff that I'm planning on doing, thank you, Night Owl, for the naughty chicken. Um, sorry, just taking a deep breath. When I set up the new content in the new year the new content is gonna include um all sorts of different things but it's also gonna be off of tiktok so the new content i will be doing sometime in the new year probably not before the new content will predominantly be run on Patreon and Microsoft Teams. I will still do lives on TikTok. It's not going to be taking over completely from TikTok. But taking it, some of it off of the app is going to mean that my subscribers especially and my Patreon subscribers will be able to have more direct um, contact with me will be able to have uh, video conversations with me video um, meetings teams meetings that type of thing and people it'll be a lot more interactive so when I set that up probably in the new year um, I don't yet know Paige I don't yet know how much it's going to be a month. Um, it's going to be... 
um, lots of different things, a lot more that I can cope with than I can cope with here on TikTok. Getting away from the idiots on TikTok, the trolling and the stupidity on TikTok and making it much more friendly, much more enjoyable for everybody. And I'm going to be able to do a lot more content that everybody enjoys a lot more. So there'll be teddy bear making, there'll be... Um, watch alongs you know we'll do um some tv watch alongs we'll do some um the bible studies will all be on the new platform the crafting lives the diamond art lives all that type of thing will be on the new platform Um, there'll be all sorts of different things that we can do more on that. Not going to be Zoom, Jay. No, I was talking about using Zoom, but we're actually we're going to use Microsoft Teams. And that's going to be open and it's going to be separate from TikTok subscription. So if people want to subscribe to me on Patreon to have access to the stuff away from TikTok, you do not have to subscribe on both. Uh, because somebody asked me, do you have to subscribe on both to be allowed? No, you don't. It's one or the other. Um, but if you, want to, if you want to join in the stuff away from TikTok, you have to be subscribed on Patreon. But you don't need to be subscribed on TikTok as well. So I would actually encourage people to cancel the TikTok subscription when I start that. And that will be then taken, taken over to Patreon and we'll do stuff over there. And we'll do it on Microsoft Teams so there's a lot more interaction. <clears throat> and it is my job, guys. So you know what? when i am making some money doing this you've got to remember it's my job so if i get 50 people <clears throat> subscribing to me on patreon if i get 50 people subscribing to me on patreon plus make a little bit on tiktok still hopefully that will mean i come off universal credit and i'll actually be fully self-employed think about that for a minute that's not a huge salary. That's not a huge amount of money. But to me, it would be a... Um, to me, it would be... Freedom, if you understand what I mean. To me, it would be... Um, independence, away from being on benefits. So that's why I want to do something that actually earns me some money. Yeah, independence. Rather than the word freedom, I should have used the word independence yet. I haven't yet worked out how much it's going to be. Uh, so not being difficult, I need to work out some stuff. Self-sufficient. Thank you, Callie-Anne. That's the word I'm looking for. Self-sufficient. I already declare everything I earn on TikTok. That's already all declared. And the one bonus of being self-employed is I can genuinely, genuinely list what is costs to my business. So while I'm getting money coming in for the subs, I also have to um, list my expenses each month so the giveaway stuff will go through my books and will be down as expenses hold on that makes me thank you so much who just sent that i missed who sent it hold on odette thank you so much thank you so I'm going to just answer this, guys. Jamie says, wouldn't the £860 a month on subs 
wipe out TikTok, wipe out your universal credit. Jamie, where do you get £860 a month from? Sorry, Jamie, just a question. Where do you get £860 a month from? I certainly don't get that much from TikTok for subscribers. I wish. I wish. If I got £860, yeah, that would wipe out my universal credit, but I don't. <laughs> Thank you, Odette. Thank you so much for the coral as well. Thank you. So, Philip, let me explain to you how subscribing money works, Philip. Or Jamie. Philip and Jamie have both pinned the same, said the same thing. So, um, I'm trying to pin one of them. No, I keep pressing the wrong button. Hold on. pin there we go so philip yeah you can say 217 subscriptions at four pound i don't get the entire amount of money tiktok takes more than half so as i've already said it does make me laugh you know craig that people think tiktok just hands you all of it so when it comes to a couple of days time tonight at midnight um i will have however much i get from the um subscription i will tell you in a couple of days how much i've got for september i will happily show you what i get for september okay i will break it down and show you what i get for september so there's no hiding it and then that will go towards the 500 pounds i've already spent then in october i'll do the same thing in november i'll do the same thing in december i'll do the same thing and whatever i get in january for december's subscription that will go towards paying the postage okay so i'm being a hundred percent honest with you um that i will literally be as open as possible Well, Philip, that's why I'm being totally open about it. <coughs> oh, that's very, very amusing. Uh, block. Bye bye. Right, does anybody have any sensible questions? So once again, if anybody wants to subscribe at the moment, before midnight, you will be into the sub giveaway as long as you stay subscribed till December. Um, yeah. Do, do, do. So... At, hold on, not at, sorry, that's the wrong word. <sighs> sorry, my brain's just gone blank. Like I said, I've already spent £500 on stuff for the boxes, for the giveaway bags. I have a big box over there, across the other side of my living room, over there. I have a big box of stuff already, already there. I already have a shopping basket online. We did several weeks ago. I'm very glad I didn't press order because it was going to go to my new house and obviously we haven't exchanged yet, let alone completed. So I'm very glad I didn't actually order the stuff. So as soon as we've exchanged... And I know when I'm moving, I can order the stuff. Um, Almic says, will I be naming all of the winners? So, Almic, when the winners are notified, I will ask for their permission to name them. Okay? If there is any subscriber that does not wish to be named, 
I will ask them to make that clear to me. Okay, so I'm hoping that all of them will be happy being named. Right, Toyo Girl is saying, I'm guessing she gets full UC. So Toyo Girl, every penny I earn is declared to universal credit. So if I earn more on TikTok, I lose part of my universal credit. If you want, if you're on universal credit and you earn money, you declare it and you lose your universal credit. That's the whole point behind universal credit is to help people try and get some employment. Okay, Toyo Girl, I don't know your circumstances. OK, I don't know your circumstances, so I can't comment. All I know is my circumstances and I fully declare everything. That's it. Hello, Bristol. How are you? I hope you're well. Am I moving to a bungalow? Yes, I am, Jen. Alex, sorry, Al comments are going so fast. I've got a genuine question ready to ask. Please don't mute. I'm not going to mute you, Alex. Um, as long as I see it, I'm not going to mute you. I don't mute people. My mods mute people. That's what my mods do. Hi, Dodie. Have I brought the bungalow too? Not yet, Charlie. We're in the pro we're in the process of me selling this house and buying the new place. <coughs> do, do, do. Can Luna fly? Yes, she can, Evie. She flies all the time. Tips to, tra to train a Konya. Sorry, I saw it, but I didn't see fast enough to read your name. Tips to train a Konya. The more time you spend with your bird, the more friendly you are with your bird, and the more your bird gets used to you, um, the more tame it will become. Remember, Luna I've had here, I've had Luna since she was 18 weeks old, and she's now six years old. So remember, I've had her for a long time. So please remember that. You're not going to get this type of bond overnight. But the more time you spend with her, with your bird, the more um, you interact with your bird, the more your bird learns to trust you, the more um, your bird will bond with you. Mm. Happy birthday, Sean. There you go. Happy birthday. I hope you've had a good day. I'm drinking mang um what's that MC Grotty Media. I'm drinking fruit juice that's watered down with Sprite. <coughs> M's saying she doesn't need any more staff at the moment. <laughs> I don't have staff. I have friendly moderators. Oh, that's hilarious. Amy Lou, I've not seen a question from, from you, Amy Lou. I do apologise. I can see that comment there, Amy Lou, but I haven't seen a question. If one of my mods can find it and wants to pin it, that's fine, but I haven't seen it. And if I start scrolling backwards, I'm going to be there for ages because I'm then not going to keep up with the current chat. If you want to put it in again, Amy Lou, I will try and keep my eyes open for it. 
Caravan, I'm apologising. This does happen. Um, if you... I will say this, guys. If any of you ask questions that include banned words, your questions will not be visible to me. Will I be doing more PCOS awareness videos? Amy, I hope to in the future. That's all I'm going to say, Amy. The problem is you've seen how much bullying and the hate I get, Amy. Um, and with everything, I've got to look after myself at the moment. So, yeah, I do apologise, Amy, but I hope to in the future. Thank you, Amy. <sighs> uh, Carol, is it raining? Um, it's not raining at the moment, but we've had a heck of a lot of rain over the last week, yes. It's a bit like Fight Club. First rule about Fight Club, don't talk about Fight Club. I think that's what the saying is, isn't it? <sighs> Jack says, when is my next cruise? Jack, I do not have any cruises booked at all. I have no cruises booked whatsoever. Quite simply because, um, at the moment, can't even consider it. Um, because of the cost, the fact I'm moving, the fact I need to put everything into the new place. Yeah. Can you organise a cruise for subs? Cool. I'm going to really be embarrassed now. How do I say your name? Let me try and work this out. No, I'm trying to pin it. Why can I not pin that comment? There. Right. Can I organise a cruise for subs? Cocora? 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 Cocoro? Am I really embarrassing myself there? Is that right, Kokoro? It's good, just call you Coco. Okay, so Coco, I will say this. If there was enough people interested i couldn't organize a sub cruise but what i could organize is enough organization that we ended up on the same cruise where we could then do some things together i couldn't organize a tiktok cruise that just wouldn't work we wouldn't have enough um popularity to organize a TikTok cruise. We just couldn't do it. Um, but there is a slim possibility that we could organise a small group cruise, possibly. Possibly. I haven't moved yet. No, not yet, Tony. MJ, you've got a question, go for it, MJ. Yeah, um, imagine that, yes, 
Carol, that's why I'm saying. <laughs> Luna's lifespan, 25 to 30 years old. Thank you for the flutter by Louise. Thank you. Craig, thank you so much for the head garland. Thank you. Carolan, no, I'm not ignoring you deliberately, Carolan. Try asking it in a different way. It might not be coming through because you might be using words that are on the band words list. And no, I'm not going through the band words list. <laughs> What's in the goodie bags? All sorts of things. Knock, knock, Dodie, who's there? Am I looking forward to anything this month? Yeah, my move when it eventually happens. <laughs> Kalyanne, I've always got sinus problems. Emma, I hear you. I sympathize with you, Emma. I personally use Admiral. And I found them pretty good. Admiral, insur Admiral Travel Insurance. I have found pretty good. Um, I'd say check them out. You can get a quote. But yes, a lot of people forget about travel insurance. It's a must-have if you ever go on a cruise. Because apart from anything, cruise companies now, if you don't have the right insurance, cruise companies will not allow you on board. And they are checking it now. They are starting to check people's insurance. They've had a few too many of medical evacuations that people haven't been able to pay for. Uh, App Crompton, I see your comment there. Um, if you're, if you want to message me, please do. If you want to message me, please do. MBC, that's why you have to have medical insurance, including evacuation cover. No, Carol Ann. No. Has anybody else seen Carol Ann's question? Because I definitely haven't seen it. Mods, if you see a question from Carol Ann, please pin it. Carol Ann, you must be using a word that's on the banned words list. It will appear for you, Carol Ann, but it will not appear for anyone else. Uh, Luna, no, you're not having that. Oh, go away with comments like that. No, the banned words list doesn't tell you it's banned. It just, it looks to you like it's fine, but it is banned. If it's banned, it won't show. Oh, right, that's being banned. Ah, uh, I'm tempted to go sub only, guys. If these silly comments carry on, I will possibly go sub chat only. Uh, 
Oh, Mandy, don't start with the leg again. <laughs> very funny, Mandy, very funny. message me if you can if you want to message me or pitta message pitta and she can then read it to me i'm not sure if pitta's still here actually who just subscribed nikki just subscribed nikki thank you so much for subscribing thank you once again guys you've got until midnight to be into the sub giveaway Okay, you've got till midnight to be in the sub giveaway. It's now 20 past 11. Um, you've got till midnight to be in the sub giveaway, which is for the goodie bags. There will be 50 goodie bags made. Um, and there are different things going in some of the goodie bags. So a few of the goodie bags that are going to include the Luna, um, not this Luna, obviously. I mean, a 3D printed Luna. Um, 50, yes, 5050. Um, at least one is going to contain a voucher for a handmade bear in the new year. Um, some of them are going to, well, they're all going to include a pen, a key ring and a Christmas item. And some of them are going to include other things as well. They're all going to hopefully include or... Um, a lot of them are going to include a piece of my photography. Um, some may be cards, some may, may be mounted pictures. Um, I'm hoping to try and make some handmade Christmas cards for everybody. This made me laugh earlier on. I saw a comment on somebody else's live. Yeah, somebody sent me a screenshot, right? Somebody sent me a screenshot from somebody else's live. I didn't actually see the live. I've, I've given up with watching other people's lives, just so that people know. I've given up because you know what? It's doing my head in. So I've given up with watching other people's lives about me. But people are still sending me screenshots, sometimes useful, sometimes not. But this made me laugh because they sent it to me because they knew it would make me laugh. Yes, at one point, and I'm probably going to do it for some of them. I said I was going to include a lunar feather in all of the Christmas cards that I send. Now, I'm not going to literally sit here and pluck Luna's feathers out. OK, I just want to make that clear to you. I have a box full. I have six years worth of all of Luna's tail feathers. So I've got six years worth of tails, bearing in mind she drops two to three tails a year. She's got 12 feathers in her tail, sometimes 10, sometimes 11, sometimes 12. And I've kept all her tail feathers over the years. So, um, some of the goodie bags will include a tail feather. Charlotte, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you, Charlotte. Why do they drop M's? That's actually a very good question. Why do they drop? Um, I don't know. Why do cats and dogs molt? Why do we molt? Why does our hair keep growing? I suppose it's to say when they get damaged, um, you know, it's like they're regrowing their feathers because they do get damaged. Um, so, yeah, I suspect that's probably what it is.
If you think you're frozen, scroll out and come back, Cherry. Not yet, Alison. I've not yet moved. No. No, Kalyan. I haven't seen Carol Ann's question. Still not seen it. <laughs> Pitta, can you look and see if Carol Ann has messaged you with a question? Because she's been constantly trying to put it in the chat and it's not coming through. Beth, thank you so much for subscribing, Beth. Thank you. Donna, yes, if they lose all of their tail feathers or a large amount of them at the same time, that can be extreme stress. Yes, Luna's never done that. Uh, did she, Jolie? Okay, thank you. I didn't see her say bye, so no. Thank you for telling me that. Sandra, um, I am a bit tired, yes. I haven't been sleeping at all well. What time is it? It's 25 past 11. Uh, where am I from? Um, I'm from Buckinghamshire. No, Oliver, I haven't made any teddy bears recently at all. Last teddy bear I made was over a year ago. And that's a small one about this big. And it's now packed away. I have lots of teddy bears that I've part made. So I'll be getting some of those out in the new year and finishing them off. And then start on some new ones as well. Alex, the reason I stopped making for quite a while is because my dexterity got worse. So my dexterity problems in my hands and my tremor um, and my um, fingers getting pins and needles, all that type of thing, makes it a lot harder for me to do the sewing. So I'm hoping that I can do more slowly. Hello, Welsh Photography. What camera do I have? Um, so I have a couple of different cameras. Um, my everyday camera is a Nikon, um, SLR. And I've got other cameras, including a medium format. Connie started chewing tail feathers. Okay, Jay, when you say chewing the tail feathers, do you mean it's actually sitting there and chewing the ends of the tail feathers? Or is it going down to near its body and chewing them near its body? Um, because that might be that the tail feather is a, about to come out to start a new one. Oh, what Nikon do you use, Welsh Photography? What Nikon do you use? I'm very glad to hear you're a Nikon person because I hate Canon. No, I definitely did not make the pink dragon. That is a Charlie Bear dragon and I'm not that good. <laughs> Z6. Okay, I don't know the Z6. Do you know the... Um... <sighs> trying to remember the model number. It's the one that looks like the old manual FM2. Is it ZFC? Is it the ZFC? It looks like the old Nikon manual FM2, which is what I used to work with all the time. I love my old Nikon manual, yeah? So the ZFC is what I now use, and I use it on complete manual. I, apart from autofocus, I use the actual camera on complete manual. Okay, Jay, have, has she got some toys? She holds her tail feathers with the end and then chews them. Yeah. Has she got some toys and things? Because that might be an indication that she needs some more toys and things to play with. I mean, I don't know your bird, so I can't say for sure. Um, if she's... If your bird... I say she because I don't know if it's a he or she... If your bird is pulling a lot of feathers out, I would recommend you get it looked at by an avian vet. 
I'd say try and give her a couple of new, him her give <sighs> sorry. I would say try and get them a few new toys. And do they have a cuttlefish shell in their cage? If you've not got cuttlefish in the cage, please make sure they've got cuttlefish. How old is your bird as well? How old is the bird? Yeah, Peter, I saw. Thanks. <sighs> Trying to see if they're still here. No, I think they might have gone. If you're still here wanting to talk about the parrot. Cool pics, yeah, cool pics is a good. She's five. Okay, Jay, she's, she's not a young parrot. Um, have you done any decorating recently, Jay? You know, is there anything new around her? Or have you put anything new near her cage? Um, because sometimes when you you do decorating or something like that, and you put stuff near the parrot's cage, um, sometimes that can also stress them out. And so you have to think about their surroundings and whether there's anything new near them that's stressing them. Yeehaw! Thank you very much, Ruth, for the hat. Thank you. You've repainted. Okay, Jay. When did you repaint and how quickly did you move her back in the room? Because the smell of the paint could stress her out. Because the smell of paint is very toxic to birds. So if you painted and moved her back in the same day without ventilating the area well, that could be stressing her out. Regan, I don't claim to be an expert, Regan. I just know a little bit. Okay, you left it for three days. Okay, well, that's good, Jay. It could be like Pitta just said. She could absolutely hate the colour. Um, the colour could, could actually stress her out. Um, so that is also a possibility. If you've changed the colour dramatically, it could be the colour. What colour have you painted from to, if you see what I mean? So what colour was it and what colour is it now? Devil, thank you for subscribing. Why am I moving? Because of my health. Parrots are drama queens. Yes, they are. White to dark grey. Mm. Now, personally, I wouldn't have thought that would be a bad change for a parrot. So... If you'd done something like yellow or orange or purple or pink, things like that, then I'd be like, yeah, it's a bit bright. But, you know, grey, I'd find that weird if a parrot was reacting to grey. But, you know, I, I don't know your parrot. Like I said, try, try, try giving her some new toys, some foot toys.
You're very welcome, Jay. I'm sorry I can't help you literally because I don't know your bird. I don't know what your bird's like. Um, so there's there's lots of different things that it could be. The other question I will ask you, Jay, is do you have a daylight light for your bird? Is she getting enough daylight? Remembering now the nights are getting darker, the nights are getting longer and the days are getting shorter. Does your bird get enough light? If not, it could be worth... Um, it could be worth um, getting a daylight bulb on Amazon for a cage. Hi, Doreen. Thank you. All birds will do that. All birds will peck your ears. Yeah, it's what they do. Sorry about that. Um, have I considered electrolysis? Uh, so, 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 Lucius, sorry if I've ruined your name. I've tried electrolysis in the past, just like I've tried, um, laser treatment. None of it works for me because I have such a high testosterone level. So my GP, when they checked my testosterone level, they said that she's never seen somebody with such a high testosterone level. A female with such high testosterone level so whenever I tried laser treatment it grew back so quickly electrolysis I can't do because it's um, needles and I'm not good with needles and also it just regrew really really quickly um, so basically the best thing for me to do is shave and that's what I do but the thing is I shaved last night I shaved last night really with smooth and as you can see I've got stubble again already um I literally can grow a beard that a lot of men would be jealous about so yeah I've so side side I'm sidey or the kitty I think that says does it affect my confidence no because it's who I am. This is me. I'm not ashamed of who I'm meant to be. This is me. The words from the darkest, the words from the greatest showman song really, really do ring true to me. I am brave, I am bold, I am who I'm meant to be. This is me. Um, I'd say that to anybody. You've got to be who you are. You, you, you can't hide yourself away. You can't be ashamed of who you are. You don't have a choice in who you are and there's no way you should be ashamed of it. <clears throat> I'm not... I don't really want to get into a talk about it tonight, guys. Um, so if we could change the subject, I would appreciate it. I don't mind asking, answering the odd question, but I really would rather not chat about it too much tonight, please. There we go, just finish it, pouring out my drink. Um, I'm 50. For those who've just asked how old I am, I'm 50. No, that's fine. I don't mind answering a simple question. I just don't want to answer loads and loads of questions about it, that's all. No, Lisa, not yet. Not yet. Yeah, I'm 50. I don't act it. I don't feel it, but I am 50. Yes. Have I got any plans for this week? Deborah, hopefully more packing and moving next week. I hope. Uh, 
thank you for the nightshade devils thank you packing is exhausting Kalyan. i will say that um it's not taking a toll on my health because i'm pacing myself and i am leaving some stuff for the removal men once i book them i'm leaving some stuff for the removal men to do because i just won't manage all of it and i know that so yeah Yeah, Tony, I ha uh, my house has been under offer for months. Uh, it's all with the solicitors still, trying to sort it all out. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit. Kay, you won't move half of my stuff in a car. I need... Um, I need um, a full removal lorry. Thank you for the hat, whoever just sent that. I apologise, I missed your name. Thank you. I'm not telling anybody where I'm moving to, Cara. Yeah, I'm not giving any indication of where I'm moving to. But I'm not staying in Aylesbury. Uh, Lilia, thank you for the hat. Thank you. I don't know if it was you who sent the first one, but thank you. My PA's on holiday at the moment. She's on a well-deserved holiday. Thank you so much for the positivity, DK. Thank you. You're in Tring, are you, Katie? Cool. Yeah, currently just down the road. Sky and Bella, two weeks to pack and move, don't know where to start. I started with one room at a time. Don't try and do a little bit of each room. Try and do one room at a time. Thank you, Chrissy. Right, guys, it's 20 to midnight. You've got 20 minutes. That's actually quite good. My timer currently runs out at five to midnight. So if you want to subscribe, you need to get in there soon. Um, the sub giveaway means you need to be subscribed before midnight tonight and then stay subscribed for October, November and December. And... Um, the giveaways I'll be picking people and some of my mods will be picking people between now and between now and sometime early December for Christmas and then we'll get the goodie bags out in the post Hello, delusive. <clears throat> I don't yet know, Irene. I'm hoping next week. I was hoping this week. Um, I'm hoping next week. Uh, the plus fire 300 seconds means each time somebody subscribes, another five minutes is added to the live. That's why it's called a subathon. So each time somebody subscribes, another five minutes is added to the live. <clears throat> Don't worry, Betty. Yeah, it's not a problem. If people want to auto-renew, they can. They don't have to. But yes, just to remind people, if you want to stay in the subscribe giveaway, you need to be subscribed at midnight tonight and you need to stay subscribed for the next four months. So September, October, November and December. 
thank you for all the heart me's everybody thank you very much Shah, do not worry if you cannot subscribe you know what please don't worry it's not a problem Betty, missing the renew by a day, I'm not going to worry about that, okay? R missing it by one day is not going to worry me, okay? Yeah, if you f easily forget, put it on auto. But, you know, some of you might not want to put it on auto and that's absolutely fine. The dragon there is called Festoon. So some of them are going to be randomly chosen. Um, I'm planning on doing some silly subscriber-only quizzes. Um, and I'm going to be doing some subscriber... Um, <sighs> some subscriber quizzes, competitions, that type of thing. Some of the bits in the goodie bags will be Christmas themed. Yes, Daisy. I haven't moved yet. No, Leanne. So just to remind everybody, those of you who are saying I'm begging. All the money that I raise from the subscribers is going to pay for the goodie bags. I've already spent £500 on the goodie bag stuff. How am I actually going to make money off the goodie bags and the subscribers? Um, no one has to subscribe, exactly, Betty. So I don't understand why people think I'm cashing in on it when actually all the money that comes from the subscribers is going back to the giveaway. I notice some people are being nasty on here. I'm just trying my hardest to ignore it. I'm doing my best to ignore it. Thank you, Dawn. Rue, thank you for saying that. Thank you. Luna's in her cage at the moment. My heating's not on at the moment, but I wish it was because I'm actually a bit chilly. Thank you, Deborah. So, Becca, if I tell you everything that's going to be in the goodie bags, it spoils the surprise for those getting the goodie bags. But the there's going to be a few random things. Um, a few of the goodie bags are going to have 3D printed lunars. A few of the goodie bags are going to have some little 3D printed bits in, which I'll be buying from Dan. Um, Dan, I need to get together with you at some point and put a bulk order together. Um, all the goodie bags are going to have a pen, a key ring and some Christmas related item in them. Um, I'm going to try and make cards to go in each one. There's going to be a piece of, piece of photography that goes in each one. 
Amelia, thank you. And no, you did spell my name right. Thank you. Um, so yeah, so far I spent £500. And basically whatever else I get between now and December will get spent on the goodie bags. You want a signed autograph from Luna? If somebody wants a signed card from Luna, that can be arranged. I can give Luna a Christmas card and get her to chew it for you. That is Luna's way of signing a Christmas card. A chewed Christmas card from the bird. I won't paint the cards, uh, Tesbeen. It'll be just card. Uh, no, I wouldn't do that, Tasbeen. No, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't want to put Luna in ink or anything like that. No. No way. I'm certainly not putting paint on her feet. No. Excuse me, I need to blow my nose again. Oh, my tissue's gone. Can't even see my tissues where they've gone. Anyway, I'm not going to be on much longer, so. Oh, there they are. No. I thought I had a tissue in my bag, but I haven't. My box of tissues is over the other side of the room. Uh, Lucy, am I already doing some stuff for other charities before Christmas? Um, sorry about that, Lucy. I am already doing some stuff for other things. And I don't even know if I'm going to have enough time to make the cards I need for the giveaway. So I, I can't do any more for other people, I'm afraid. I'm sorry about that, Lucy. Uh, no, there's still some purple in my hair, but nowhere near as much. Yes, veggie, that's what I can't do, overcommit. I don't want to overcommit and then let people down. I just can't do it. No, I'm not planning on redoing the purple, no. The pink dragon is Charlie Bears. Right, it's sub only chat now guys sub only chat it's getting to the point i can't keep up it's now sub only chat guys some mods you can take a breather thank you lou hi isra 
Are you a new subscriber, Isra? I know I've seen your name a couple of times, but I don't think I've seen it on the subscriber li list before. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. I did, Betty, yes, but they haven't had any news yet today when I spoke to her again uh, just before five or just before four, sorry. <clears throat> okay, Ezra, I apologise I don't recognise your name. Please accept my apologies and thank you. But you're in the sub chat, you're in the, the, you're in the giveaway, sorry. Alice, thank you for subscribing just in time. And somebody else subscribed as well. Um, who else just subscribed? I did see somebody. Awesome Wallace. Thank you, Awesome Wallace, for subscribing as well. So, guys, you've got less than five minutes if you want to subscribe to be in the giveaway. So, thank you, guys, for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I really do. Um, Anya, welcome to the subscribers, Anya, number 223 out of 225. Am I going to get hit the 225? Julianne, thank you for subscribing, Julianne, 224. Are we going to hit the goal of 225? I'm going back to a more natural hair colour, Ebony. I'm going to go back to a much more natural hair colour. So, to everybody who subscribed this evening, thank you so very, very much. Maria, thank you, Maria. 225 subscribers. Yay! Thank you, everybody. Um... <laughs> Julie, oh Julie, you do make me laugh. There you go, guys. That's a standing joke between me and Julie. Um, for when I went on my cruise back in January, Julie pretended that she was in my suitcase for the whole cruise. So yes. Oh, somebody's got in there just in time. 226. Who did that? I don't know. Did somebody else just buy a subscription? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to manage a whole another 45 minutes, you know, guys. I was hoping to go off at midnight. <laughs> I was hoping to finish at midnight. <laughs> so thank you everybody for subscribing. I am incredibly grateful. And as I said before, all of the... All of the subscription money is going towards the giveaway. Is it 229 now? Is it really? I didn't see it go up. That's the idea, Lucy. The idea is to stay till the sub sub subway finishes. I'm just not sure I'm going to manage it. Um, 229, you're right. Wow, I didn't expect to get that many, guys. Thank you. I definitely didn't expect to get that many, so thank you. So, um, so that you know, is it 230? Has somebody else just subscribed? Well, being 100% honest with you all, the, um, the... Sorry. It's 
called brain fog. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. It's called brain fog. Emma, I am very tired cognitively. Um, but I also know that I'm not, I won't sleep. So I'm, I'm struggling a lot with sleep at the moment. So although I am very tired, I also know I won't sleep. Bear with me a second while I look at this. Uh, Mummy M and Mummy M and AJ, is that your correct name? Because one of my other followers, I kept calling M and M and D. And I didn't realise her name was actually Mandy. <laughs> and I kept misreading it. So I just want to check you, I'm reading your name correctly. Is that right? Is that, I do, it is actually Mummy, M and J. Yeah. AJ, sorry. <sighs> Thank you for the hat, Tom. Tracy sending you love have you got it plastered up or are you in a one of those removable removable casts so we've passed midnight guys so thank you to all my subscribers you are a moon boot yeah okay um um you are now all in the sub giveaway. There will be 50, that's 5 0, not 15, 50 goodie bags made. Between now and December, I will pick some. Pitta and some of my other mods will pick some. When I'm after my move, we will pick some more by some quizzes and some silly things and um i just want to have a quick look at something so i can see when on my list i can see when people subscribed so I'm going to randomly pick somebody to give me a number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Right. Twenty-four people have subscribed during this live, as in new subscribers. 
24 new subscribers in this live. I'm not talking about people who've renewed old subscriptions. I'm talking new subscribers, okay? I'm gonna get somebody to randomly choose one of you now. Pitta. Because it's fairer that I get Pitta to choose a number. Nat, thank you. Thank you for the elephant chunk. So, Pitta, from the top being number 24 and the oldest this evening being, 20, being number one, from number one to 24, Pitta, I want you to choose me a number. Eight. And Pitta is keeping a list for me of the people who are already in the giveaway and there should be two names on that list already, isn't there, Pitta? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pitta, are you ready for a name to add to that list? You only have one. I thought there was two on there. I thought there was two on there. Oh, we'll sort it out later, Pitta. Right, can you add a name for me? Can we have a drum roll, please? This person is a new follower this evening. Have some hands tapping in the screen. Are they in the live at the moment? I don't know if they're in the live at the moment. Oh, that's a brilliant one. Drum roll. Put, use the drum drum emoji. Go for it, guys. Use the drum emoji. I'm waiting to see if the person is still in the live. I'm waiting for the person to hopefully still be in the live. Put some drum emojis in, guys. So... The next name added to the list, new this evening, is Tasbeen. T-A-S-B-E-A-N. Tasbeen. Tasbeen, are you in the live? Tasbeen, are you in the live? So Pitta has randomly chosen the eighth person who subscribed tonight for the first time, and that was Tasbeen. So Tasbeen is added to the list. And she will get a goodie bag as long as she stays subscribed from now till December. You can't be subscribed for one month and then get a goodie bag. You've got to stay subscribed all the way through to December um, because that's how I'm paying for the goodie bags. All of the... Subscriber money is paying for the goodie bags. Okay. And when I know in the next day or two how much money I've got from this month's subscription, I don't think it will tell me already, but I will just double check. No. It doesn't tell me um, yet how much it is. I didn't expect it would tell me already. So when I know, I will tell you all how much I've earned this month. But like I said, that will go in to the pot for the giveaway stuff. Did I talk about choosing somebody the other night and then not choose somebody? The, I know who the other person on the list is, Pitta. Right, more, um, subscribers who've been subbed for a little while. Subs who have been subbed for a little while. Did I say anybody else the other night? <laughs> yeah, Linz, love that one. Did I actually choose somebody the other night or did I just talk about it and then not actually choose someone? 
Maybe I, maybe I imagined it. You know what? I might have imagined it. I've been having so many weird dreams. I've been having so many weird dreams that, yeah. Good night, Julianne. No, Amy, I didn't, don't think I did that, Amy. I know one of your friends keeps saying it, but I haven't actually agreed to that, I don't believe, Amy. No, one of your friends keeps saying it, but no, I haven't actually done that. Otherwise, I'd be choosing the 200th one as well. So, no, that's... Yeah, not doing that, I'm afraid. You know, you still in with a chance though, Amy. I'm not going to say you won't get one. Um, yeah, I can't choose the 200th one because it's Pitta. <laughs> well, Pitta didn't actually... Yeah, anyway, we won't worry about that. Yes, Lauren, I did choose somebody the other night and she's first on the list. Well, Pitta, you're not, strictly speaking, it's not you who's number 200. Pitta wanted to do it for a giggle, so she brought, a, she brought the 200th sub as well. The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.